Before we get started, I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You're a unique beauty, unlike any other, and I love you. Well, 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 what do we have here? Two little lovebirds kissing behind a tree. How scandalous. You two should really get a room. What's with the staring? Did you really think I'd look the same as the day that you killed me and buried me in that grave? That's not how resurrection works, darling. As you can clearly see, I'm all bones, but I managed to keep my luscious locks. Apparently, even as an undead lich, I still look gorgeous. Your new love interest is quite, um, <laughs> underwhelming. To be completely honest, darling, I never expected you to move on so quickly, especially after all we shared together. Now I see you cuddling up with this pathetic little thing. You clearly have downgraded. If you wanted to find a new lover, perhaps you should have found someone more worth your time. Oh, don't talk to them like that. Please, darling. You lost all rights to boss me around once you betrayed and killed me. I can talk to them however I please. Listen, sweetie. Your knight in shining armor is a slug that only cares about themselves. The moment they're tired of you, they'll cast you aside like garbage, just like they did to me. If you're lucky, they'll make your ending painless. From your expression, you clearly have forgotten about what you did to me. You, the person that I love the most, pierced my heart with a sword and tossed me into a pauper's grave. After I gave you everything, my heart, my soul, everything. No, do not give me that. I didn't betray you. You betrayed me, stabbed me in the back when I least expected it, and to think that the king knighted you. Yes, yes, I do expect an explanation. Why did you do it? Because of Ravenbrook. What about that stupid little backwater town? I destroyed it. But of course, they deserved it. Plotting to kill me and my family. The bunch of traitors. You would think they'd be grateful for everything I did for them. Turns out, they repay safety and mercy with death and destruction. Ungrateful peasants, the lot of them. Innocent people. Don't make me laugh. You should have seen what they said about my family. Actually, you did see what they did when we walked through town on official business for the king. They threw garbage at me, called me horrible names. Cursed, demon, and every other name in the book. And not once did you defend me. Not once did you shield me from the hurtful words or projectiles. It makes me wonder, did you also see me as a monster? Is that why it was so easy for you to kill me? I didn't see any tears on your face when you made the fatal blow. Only a cold mask. Now, don't even bother trying to defend yourself. You have no leg to stand on. Nothing to say that can fix all of this. However, there is something you can do. Just sacrifice yourself. I mean, it's only fair. 
You killed me for defending my family. I kill you for stabbing me in the back. If you'd like, your new little uh friend can watch. <laughs> Let them go free. I don't think so. Can't have any witnesses, darling. After all, that's the most important step of a revenge plan. Aww. How sweet is this? Your little friend is using their own body to shield you. Isn't that just precious? If I had a heart, it would be bursting at this sight. Too bad, though. I need to dispose of them. Now, what to do with them? There are so many possibilities. I could feed them to my pets or toss them into a void. I could make them watch your demise. But I'd rather see your fear as you wonder about their fate. I'll just stick them in one of my shadow pockets to be disposed of later. No need to decide right now. Now, my dear, please hold on and hold still while I make sure that you don't escape. Hey, hey, don't struggle or else these chains will tighten. Wouldn't want your pretty skin to be ruined now, would we? Now that's better. Yeah, and the hero is all chained up and ready to be tossed into my pocket. How do I still have my magic? Oh, my dear sweet hero. You forgot the most important rule before burying a magic user. Cut off their head before burying them. It would seem that the moment I left the world of the living, you forgot all about me. That includes everything that I taught you. What am I going to do to you? Well, that answer is very simple. I'm going to break you. Break you like you broke my heart. I'll tear you apart. Bit by bit. And you'll feel all the pain that I felt when you betrayed me. And buried me in that pauper's grave. And don't worry about your new friend. I'll take care of them later. But you? Prepare for your worst nightmare. My dear knight. I'm gonna love it.